Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about my 68,000 computer. I found the other day some videos uh, of it in the process of building it in different stages. So I'm gonna walk you through them and uh, let's see how the computer was built. So let me open up the first video that I found. The videos are those two. Here's the first video. So let me pause it, let me um, get muted, because I will do a voiceover, so let's start. Here as you can see is the computer uh, in the early stages of building it. Over here are the two EEPROM chips comprised of a 20, 28C64, I think, 8-bit EEPROMs combined together to give the 16-bit um, required required data width because the 68000 is a 16 bit processor so here is the decoding logic um here is the 555 uh, reset uh, circuitry here is a clock circuitry comprised of a 78c um 74hc04 not gate and the crystal I'm running the computer in 8 MHz right here. Here is a, a simple circuit for single stepping the computer. It's a DTAC circuit, as it's called. I will put a link in the description about the circuit where I found it. And here is a push button to um, a cycle between uh, a bus cycles when I press the each button. Um, here is a switch um, that uh, allows me to switch between uh, free running mode with a, a crystal oscillator or the single step button. And here are some LEDs for from the other bus. I think this is A1, A2, A3 and A4. Let me continue the video. So yes, here I'm talking about the um, switch. Here I'm talking about the circuitry. Uh, yes, yeah, so here, of course, you can see each time I press the button, the LEDs change state. Here was the reset circuitry. Um, here are the EEPROMs, as I said. Here is the decoding logic. Uh, the reset circuitry, a LED here to indicate the reset state. Yep, the computer is reset. So right about somewhere here, yes, I am pressing the, uh, the buttons. Uh, over there, I think I have a simple, very simple program that uh, loads the processor with the address, uh, starts the program with the address 0000, 000, 000, 000 hex, and loads it uh, with a command to execute from 8, 8 hex, and then to loop back to 8 hex. So. Uh, if I, yes, uh, you can see 2, 4, 6, 8, and here we'll start the program which loops back to 8, but because the uh, 68000 is a two stage uh, pipeline processor, it will actually execute the next instruction at the uh, address 9 hex, um, and then we'll jump back to 8. Because uh, it doesn't know that uh, it has a uh, jump instruction and actually executes the next instruction, discards the next instruction, and jumps back to the previous instruction. So you can see here uh, if I press the button once again, I think I'm actually, yes. If I press the button once again, yes. You can see jump between 8 hex and 9 hex. If I switch now to the free running mode and reset the computer, you can see um, those LED, uh, LEDs seem to be on permanently, but the LEDs are actually flickering because the processor uh, executes those commands very fast at 8 MHz to be exact. And that was the computer. Here is the 68B50 uh, ACA, asynchronous uh, serial communications chips chip which uh, I will use, uh, I, I am using to communicate with the computer over a serial cable. 
and here as you can see the breadboard has lots of room for um, RAM expandability, uh, more I.O. and the serial communication stuff which I later added I think the, yes this is the video let me show it to the other video now okay in this video you can see the computer in a more um, more built up stage stage um, what are the differences? Over here is a postcode display circuitry. Basically, I have programmed in this shape from some commands, some codes to display on the postcode. So if the computer executes something, it, it sends first the code that is responsive uh, for the actual uh, thing that the computer that time does. For example, let's say that a uh, computer uh, wants to initialize and test for RAM. It will send the code over here. Uh, for example, I've, I think I, mm, I've programmed the code to be FF for RAM checking. And if it doesn't, found, uh, it doesn't find any fault in RAM, it will pass and change the code to the next stage, I think, checking the serial, let's say. Uh, if it doesn't uh, pass the test, the RAM is faulty and the computer doesn't execute the test correctly, uh, it holds and the, the code that shows up here is representative of what fault is on the, in, on the computer. Uh, actually, this is a very good uh, debugging um, thing. Uh, actually, many, many modern mother, motherboards uh, I'm talking about uh, Asus, Gigabyte, modern motherboards of computers actually have postcode displays to inform people when the computer doesn't start, what's the fault for? So let's continue with the video. Uh, yes, of course, over here you can see uh, the RAM, I think 64 kilobytes of it, yes. Uh, the part number is CY7127, I think doesn't matter the rest of the computer is actually the same some more decoded logic uh, needed so uh, yes here of course i am taking out the ram chimps to explain how the postcode display works so if i uh, power up the computer you see ff and f8 ff as i said means uh, the computer checks for ram and fa says that found an error uh, error found, let's say, and actually stops there. If I continue with the video, FFFA found an error. Uh, obviously, because the RAM isn't connected, I am connecting and get the RAM, and now you can see that if I switch on the computer for a brief period of time, it shows. F A F F A O F F means that it's checking the RAM A O means all OK and it's passed the um, RAM test routine here you can see it one more time F F A O and uh, currently uh, the computer is in this state so more is to come with the computer. I am planning to add uh, more RAM and more I.O. Maybe a parallel uh, ID interface or um, network interface or um, graphics interface and such things. That was all for me today. If you liked the video, please uh, give it a like. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Uh, if you want to ask any question, please let it down, uh, write it down to the comments. Also visit my website. Uh, I have lots more information about this computer. The website is linked down below in the description. And until the next video from me, goodbye.